Hi everybody, this week we'll look at a case study over the digestive system. You're going to have 15 definitions that you'll need to work on and six analysis questions that you'll need to answer. So let's get started. I am going to give you some general information in this video clip so that you'll be able to be as successful as possible when you actually perform the analysis and do the definitions. So first of all, I want you to know that the material is somewhat dated. There could be instances of medications or drugs that simply are no longer used. However, just the mere mention of these should not really affect the quality of this case because really what you're doing here and what the purpose of the case study is to get you into using your medical dictionary more. And again, you have 15 definitions, so you've got a little bit of work to do there. And also, it's, it's another purpose is to get you used to looking at medical documents. In this case, this would be a medical record. I want you to know that you should not overanalyze the questions. Don't feel like you have to connect with a medical professional such as a nurse or a physician or a pharmacist to get your answers because really they're right in front of you within the text of the case study. So let's start first with the definitions. You have again 15 of them and I want you to know that when you see the abbreviations, if you will write out the term, for example, you have EGD and that's esophagogastroduodenoscopy. So you'll write out the term and then you'll go to the dictionary and give me a definition for what that procedure is. Same thing with the other two abbreviations that you see in the case study. Also, there's one definition, squamocolumnar, squam, I can barely say it, squamocolumnar junction. That particular term you may find in your dictionary or you may not find in your dictionary. If you find it, more than likely, it's going to give you a definition that has to do with the female reproductive system. And you're going to go, well, why is that in here? It doesn't seem to make any sense. It doesn't seem to be in context with the rest of the case study, and you're exactly right. So what I would like for you to do with that term is you could just go directly to the internet and define it, and that's what I would prefer that you do so you're not wasting time, and you'll just set up a search of squamocolumnar junction and digestive system, or you can try squamocolumnar junction and gastrointestinal system and hopefully you'll be able to pull up a definition that will seem to fit a little better with this case study. With regard to the questions, please don't overanalyze. I know they're called analysis questions but really you're just going to be digging through your case study for the answers and if, if you look at it in those terms and know that you actually, even a student new to medical terminology, can probably answer these within 15 minutes and in many cases in a much shorter period of time. So um, let me give you an example. Um, number six, what was the final diagnosis? Well. I want you to use your column headings, your side headings, excuse me, side headings in the uh, case study. And when you look at the text, you see preoperative diagnosis, postoperative diagnosis, and then you read through and you see information about procedure, summary of procedure. And then you go back to the question that says, what was the final diagnosis? Well, I don't see anything in the case study that actually says final diagnosis, but let's go back to those side headings. Pre-operative diagnosis, pre meaning before, so before the operation, what they thought was going on, and then you have post-operative diagnosis. What does post mean? After. 
So if we're talking about a final diagnosis, that's about as close as you can get to final diagnosis, post-operative diagnosis. So you'll use what is under that side heading for your answer. All right, so um, I'm going to stop giving away hints and let you get started on that. And um, please do email me in Angel if you need clarification on anything. Good luck.